Everyone's a little on edge lately. Something has made the general public paranoid. Could it be the global pandemic that just won't take a break? Or maybe it's the tensions between different communities during these trying times. Or maybe, just maybe, it's the nagging notion that everything and anything could potentially be a delicious dessert these days. It could be your sister, or your neighbor, or even your pet dog. It could be the fire hydrant down the street, or the steak dinner you were about to eat. Cake seems to be the main ingredient in just about every Everything as more and more videos emerge showcasing the talents of many photorealistic bakers. In fact, they're so good at making cake look like literally anything else, people are starting to wonder, could I be cake? Hello fellow friends and philosophers and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we've got a delectable dissertation for you. What if everything was cake. I'm sure the thought has crossed your mind with every subsequent cake video you've managed to consume. That shoe looks a little too glossy. Maybe that bag of Cheetos doesn't look glossy enough. Oh, no, they're both cake. Just don't go around biting everything and anything that could be a sweet treat. Hygiene is still paramount. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more tasty pastries. Perfect, let's begin. Let's get the nuclear option out of the way right now. If everything was cake, we'd cease to exist. It would be like if everything turned to stone or ash. If cake consumed and became everything, there would be no sentient beings left to notice that things were a little off. Cake doesn't think. Cake doesn't react. So yeah, if everything was cake, we couldn't even know it. However, that is a very boring answer to the question concerning our aptly named meme flavor of the week. So let's try out a few different cake-based apocalypses. Let's say that the dessert end of days had a gradual spread. Kind of like how people are joking around and supposedly discovering that all sorts of public figures and well-known products are now cake. It's kind of like a pod people cake apocalypse. It's here, and it's hiding well, but once you're clued in, it might be too late. First of all, there would be some major nutritional issues that cropped up. People can't just eat cake, it's not healthy. Sure, it would be amusing and delicious for a little while, but have you ever tried going back for a fourth slice of birthday cake? Two and three are fun indulgences. Number four is where your body starts screaming at you. And for good reason, too. The human body can only take so much sugar and flour before it starts requiring other nutrients to balance things out. And if everything were cake, good luck finding those additional vitamins minerals, you'd go for a baby carrot and get no crunch, it's cake. You had to crack an egg and it would just smush against the side of the pan. Cake. Maybe a glass of water will refresh you after all that sugar. Even. More. Cake. Yikes. A nightmare to defeat all other nightmares. The cakening of all these healthy ingredients would, of course, cause all sorts of stomach aches, both from the richness of the cake and the anxiety it would induce. But it would also contribute to the already well-developed obesity epidemic. There's no way folks are eating cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner without getting bigger. I mean, let's be honest here. Most of what North Americans eat already is sugar and flour and other processed goodies, but to replace everything with just cake? My goodness. So once all of the food-related alternatives are exhausted, folks would shift their attention to the people around them. If everything really is cake, then the folks nearby might be cake too. Cake-based existential crises would appear in droves. It would start out as fun and games, maybe playfully asking your friends if they're cake or not, but soon paranoia would set in. Mild-mannered newspaper salesmen would hack off the limbs of their customers. Stay-at-home moms would carefully cut into their children. School teachers would walk the aisles and use rulers to test for cake where there should be flesh. Capgras delusion on a massive scale with all affected believing that their familiars have been replaced with bakery fodder. Cakey carnage would flood the streets, with the soft, delicious insides of men and women spilling out as friends and colleagues lost their collective minds. Buttercream frosting flowing through storm drains, hunks of congealed cake batter splattering on the concrete. Birthday? brutality. Eventually, all of these externally focused psychoses would have to be turned inwards. I know most folks love to blame others for their problems, but in a cake-filled world, how can you know that you're not cake? Only one way to find out for sure. Folks would start losing their minds, wondering if they're full of blood and guts or frosting and sprinkles. Evolution has largely conditioned us out of causing massive harm to ourselves, so we'd turn to other people to find out for sure. So even if you survived the initial cake inquisition, you might be called back 
back to perform surgery on someone else. Hell, we might even get some situations straight out of horror movies, you know, like tying people to chairs and testing their blood to see if the glucose levels are normal. After the initial wave of panic and chaos, survivors who managed to come to terms with their cakeitude might return to life as per usual. However, this would prove to be very difficult as the world is now made of cake. Economies would crash as nothing would have explicit value anymore. All would be made of cake and unique properties of materials would be rendered useless. People would be terrified to interact with the world. Sit down on the couch? Nah, sink through the cake couch. Dribble a basketball? Splat. Jump in the lake? Frosting is not that easy to swim in. The news cycle would be a hoot, that's for sure. Every day a new bulletin would pop up, filling us in on who the newest cake person is and whether or not folks in power have succumbed to cake life yet. Which brings us to the motives of our new cake overlords. If it is a pod people situation, what do they want? To assimilate the entire earth in a confectionery cloister? Or is it a mindless cake-based virus, slowly infecting everything and anything as per its nature? Maybe it's just a bored, extremely powerful alchemist, really just messing with the world as a whole. What do you think the most likely culprit for a cake catastrophe would be? I suppose this brings us back to the original scenario though. After a while, everything would indeed just be cake, which is a terrifying prospect in the end. No sentience, just scrumptiousness. And let's be real for a moment, cake is not well known for staying fresh. Give it a week or so and everything would get stale. Another month and the world would be an extremely smelly cake repository. Although if you want to get really literal with it, we can go microscopic. If everything is cake, then bacteria is cake. Molecules are cake. Atoms cake. This revelation means that the laws of physics may very well change, seeing as cake has subsumed everything. All of this leading up to a cakey collapse of the universe. Not exactly what you were expecting, eh? Of course, that leaves us with no more discussion, because once the universe is no more, well, there's no more. So let me ask you this. What about regular cake? If everything was cake, what would happen to real, actual cake? Would the confections be filled with more cake? Infinite layers all the way down, like a mirror reflecting another mirror? Or would cakes be different than everything else at that point? filled with flesh, or maybe even abstract concepts. It boggles the mind. I don't want to get too abstract though, although I did just talk about the whole world becoming cake and then collapsing, didn't I? I suppose we'll round out this idea with some stuff that would be really amusing to find out was cake. Ready? Imagine getting into a car accident, but it turns out that both cars are cake. You hear the screeching of tires, the crunching of metal, and then you look up and realize that there's no engine under the hood, but instead a huge helping of red velvet cake. What if you went to pet the family dog and instead of fur, you got squishy icing? I think getting on the bus would be an adventure because at any point, something could give way and reveal layer after layer of rich, dreamy pastry. It could be when you sit down or maybe when you pull the next stop cord. What if the entire country of Estonia was made of cake? Would that help or hurt the tourism industry? I think I might've exhausted the topic for now. I know, I know, it's impossible to say enough about cake, but I will wrap it up here. What do you think? Are you a fan of these cake reveal videos? Would you ever buy one just to try it? Do you think the world is slowly but surely becoming 100% cake? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more delectable ones from the PS5 versus Xbox Series X graphics test. Beep Boop Beep says, this is truly my life's biggest question. All will be answered in due time, Beep Boop Beep. But for now, enjoy what's left of this console generation. And Sal Sanal says, just like the Ronaldo and Messi fanboys will realize after a few years how foolish they were comparing both of them, these PlayStation and Xbox fanboys will soon realize how wrong they were instead of enjoying the game. A man of culture, folks. The thing is, everyone getting along doesn't sell as many consoles. Calm Anime says, looks at thumbnail. Wait, that's illegal. You're right, I'm actually recording this video from inside a supermax prison. And Accio Provis says, I'm thinking that the reveal events will have more impact on the sales than the specs themselves. And I'm thinking you're correct on this one. Splitting hairs comparing hardware won't matter much once we see how they stack up against each other in reality. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I become nothing more than a figment of your imagination, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fleeting fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.